morning. It's uh, Wednesday, 10th of May, 2023. Look at this for a glorious day. Evening. Beautiful. Seagulls dancing. I see. Yeah. Everybody's happy this morning. We're here, man. Apart from me, John. Why aren't they happy? I want to talk about Steve Barkley, the health secretary. Oh, ah, ah, ah. He came out yesterday. What they're doing now, because uh, it's almost impossible to see a GP, in fact, it's almost impossible to, ah. to get a phone call to your surgery. Ah. They're investing £200 million in communication technology to make it sure patients get through. When you get through, you're going to be speaking to somebody who's trying to fuck you off away from the surgery. Yes. Because they don't want you there. They've got like, come into a shot, John. They've got like gatekeepers there. A bit like they have now, like, uh, what do you want to see him for? Uh, what's up? I mean, what's up? Yeah, sure like, like, sure, well. yeah. Yeah. Also, John, huh? they invested another £645 million pound over two years to, to enable pharmacists to provide treatment for minor illnesses. Well, I have news for the John. They already do that, the pharmacy. Uh. If he can't give back antibiotics, the pharmacist, I can give stuff like uh, to deal with uh, the anti antihistamines. Anti you can buy them uh, uh. over counter. Better uh, can give advice on uh, contraception and that, but 24 morning after pill, he can do all that already. But I mean, if you think, John, in, since 2015, the NHS have lost 2,000 doctors. GPs, are. Uh, That's the equivalent to 17 million appointments in seven years. That's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot, a very lot. And the thing is, for me, doctors are on £92,500 a year. Pharmacists are on £50,000 a year. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm worried if I'm going to be chemist. What's the comfort in the anxiety? I'm going to have treatment rooms where you go. Same as woman, what's yeah. front desk? What's yeah. you talk, asking me what's yeah. wrong with it? Are you going to have treatment rooms? Who gets access to your notes? Obviously, your notes got to be linked to your doctor's surgery because he wants to know what pharmacy he's been giving you. So it's all uh, up in And I think that 240 million and the 645 million, if you add them together, it is uh, 885 million. Why not just fucking set some new doctors on? I'll tell you what they're doing. They're spending all that money there to yeah. privatise the fucking that's, place. Well, well, that's it who owns the pharmacies, yeah. Yes, and they're don't not... think Labour's going to make it any different no. because they're fucking worse than crowd what's in. That's right, John, the pharmacies. Mr Stormer said that, yes. privately owned, yes. But I was thinking again, if they've got rid of 2,000 doctors since 2015, and they've been on hundred thousand pound a year. That's two million quid a year they've been saving. Was that gone? Eight, no, that's that's sixteen million quid. Where the fuck's that gone? Yeah, yeah, and I'll tell you what. I'll tell you, it's all planned, John. They don't What's want. They don't want. They do not want you to see your doctor. Plan privatisation. Yeah, they don't want you to see your doctor if there's something wrong with you. What they do want is you to fucking die. Because if you're not fucking fit for work, they don't want you on this fucking planet. Do you know what? You're a fucking... What's you're a burden. You're, you're a burden. burden. They want you fucking dead. Wakey, wakey!